Hello, hello, happy Friday everybody. I get to say it this time because this is coming out on Friday for sure because I'm filming it early. <laughs> when you watch this, I'll be in the mountains. <sighs> so that's going to be fun. So happy Friday. I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my sewing room. It's Friday. Time to chat and talk about whatever, whatever we want. And the first thing I want to talk about is camping because I'm going camping and I'm probably a broken record because this is my third trip this month. This month. Crazy. It's crazy. That's not me. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to this last trip. And one of the things I was thinking is, you know, I've been wearing sleeveless like most of the summer and so I've got kind of a little bit of a tan. I'm really very pale but I got a little bit of a tan going on my shoulders. And the last thing I want to do is wear like t-shirts and start back on that farmer tan. Is that what we still call it? We still call it, it's probably a reason why you can't call it that. But you know, the tan that starts right here. So I took one of my t-shirts that I regularly take camping. I have a few and they say like, you know, take a hike. They have a picture of a mountain or camping is great. You know, that kind of thing. Actually, most of my t-shirts came from one shopping hall a few years ago. And I'm going to put a link to it because that's been a while. I'm going to say five. I'm going to guess five years ago. And I wear those t-shirts when we go to Silver Lake. It's kind of like my little uniform. But this year, I don't want those sleeves. So I went online on YouTube where everything you can find, everything, right? And I found a video and I loved her procedure. And it actually wasn't even a full-on video. What is going on? So hot. Uh, it was called a short. I don't even know what that is in YouTube. That's how like untechnical I am. I should find out though because they're really great. And I followed her short. I followed her directions and I took my t-shirt, turned it into a tank top. And I'm so happy with the results. So happy. So I'm just going to show you um, me doing that. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. This is an experiment, but if it works out, I thought I would film this. I started here, but it's inside my bra straps right here. So I started here and I'm going to go down here and catch this underarm. And then right here, I just want it to come down to here and stop here. And same on the other side. I didn't mark the neckline because I'm just going to fold it and cut it. Be interesting if this turns out. I picked one of my shorts that's kind of wearing out anyways, so if it doesn't work, I didn't lose much. Whoopsie. Okay, so this is where I marked it when I was wearing it. So my plan is I'm just going to take my scissors and trim this whole neckline off. And then I'm going to follow the instructions. Well, I forgot to add the seam allowance, so it should have been right here. But I'm not going to worry about it. It can be a little lower. I had it pretty high. But next time, I would just add my seam allowance when I cut it instead of just cutting it right on my line. Ugh. Okay, this time I left a small seam allowance. This is where I started, but this is what I really wanted. So right here was my line. And then when I got to here, I just did. I just cut it as close to the actual mm -hmm. sleeve. Can you see that? I cut it close to the actual sleeve as I can. So this is what came off right here. This is the sleeve that came off this is what I ended up with and my arms are not the same this one seems slightly bigger so I'm gonna measure that and I'm gonna true it up a little I'm just checking my fit I think the sleeves are gonna be fine because they're gonna get turned under that much I wish I had left that seam allowance this is gonna make my tank a little thinner when I do the sides but all in all I'm okay with it next time next time it'll be better this is gonna be so much better for camping. I assume this is what she used. I had this in my stash. I have no idea how long I've had it, but it does stretch a little. So I'm gonna use that. Okay, so I, I sewed my elastic on, just stretching it slightly, just like she said in the video. And now what I'm doing is surging it, and then I'm going to turn it and hem it just like she said this is going really fast and easy I am super happy with this result let's try it on oh my gosh this is so much better yeah I've got another one I'm gonna do I just love this that was so easy 
I'll take this camping. I won't be choked by my t-shirt. I don't like to wear them when they choke me. And no sleeves, I love that. Okay. So that tank top turned out great. I'm really happy. I way rather wear it as a tank top than a t-shirt. So I have a couple more I want to do the same thing to. Um, I started on one that was very similar to that one and I didn't like how it turned out as well because I ran out of that plastic elastic or whatever. That, it's probably just see-through elastic but I ran out of it and just turning it under it was droopy right here. So I gotta get some more of that before I do any more t-shirts. It just needs that. It needs to be what she's what she directs. But oh my gosh like getting all new shirts. They're all new and I hate that choky feeling right here. So I was gonna try and make them all into v-necks but I just thought that was easier just turning them into tank tops. So that's my sewing project for the week. Also, I have a finished product that I'm going to, I um, filmed, and I'm going to share it on Tuesday because that's usually my trailer day in my mind. So I'm going to uh, put it up and have it come out on Tuesday. I made something else for my trailer, and I can't wait to share it with you. So come back. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. But if you want to be notified when a video comes out that I put out, you click on that little bell, and it will actually let you know. So then you'll know. So that is going to, going to be coming for sure. It's in the can. Do you know what that means? Back when they were filming, they would put the film in a can. Like an, it was a big reel of film and it went, we're all digital now. So if I say it's in the can, it's stating myself. And I don't mind. I don't mind dating myself at all. So that's my sewing for now. Uh, as per last Friday's video, I have found the pattern for the Sharon Sews dress, McCall's 8214, is that what it was? Hold on, I'll show you. McCall's 8214. I would think I might wanna make a muslin and try the bust, um, full bust adjustment because Sharon did in her, she did a full bust adjustment. But I definitely would like this to be my next project when I'm done camping. So that's my sewing, all my sewing. I'm excited about the camping trip, so this, is my third camping trip. I went to the fair for five days, home for five days. Then I went to my family camping trip with my kids and their kids for five days. Then I've been home since we came back Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday. So tomorrow's Thursday. So I've been home almost a week. And now we're going tomorrow up to the mountains here, near here with friends. It's gonna be so fun. We do this every year. And I, we're, we're at that stage where we're all calling each other and we're talking about food and, you know, it's, it's always just a crazy mix of whatever's going to happen with the food, but we still try to plan it. <laughs> or some people do. I just go with the flow. Tell me what to bring. That's what I say. Tell me what to bring. So uh, I'll definitely bring lots of food and we'll pitch in wherever the group meals are and we'll feed ourselves when there's not. But we're going to be doing kayaking. All three of our tra trailers will be parked next to each other. And we'll be doing lots of dominoes, sitting at the table, eating snacks, maybe some cocktails at the appropriate time, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, I have to tell you something funny. I'm not a coffee drinker. I just can't get into it. I never found coffee I think tastes good. And I don't really care. Uh, but I do want the caffeine sometimes, especially camping. So, did I already tell you guys this? If, if I did, I apologize. <laughs> I'm a repeater. I, I blame it on age now. So on our camping trip with our kids, we had um, somebody brought a coffee press and it's where you put in the grounds and then you pour it in the water and then you wait a few minutes and no one determined that how many minutes, they just said a few minutes and so I just sort of made up what I thought that was and then you push down on the plunger and out comes coffee. So I want to duplicate that because I thought that was super fun and we put it in a um, thermos. So I've got to find a thermos. I don't even have a thermos. So I got to go find a thermos. And um, sitting next to that, all that coffee stuff was a bottle of Bailey's <laughs> that my daughter brought. And I thought, this will make coffee taste good. I poured a bunch in there and I think I drank her whole bottle of Bailey's. <laughs> and I'm not a drinker either. So that was what made that funny. Uh, so I, I always tell the doctor always asks you do you are you a drinker you know and then they'll say how many per week and I think oh, I'm not always anything per week but you know I'll drink just not very often 
it's never been my thing but camping there will be drinking going on and probably with my coffee I don't know why that's so funny to me. Is it funny because it's drinking in the morning or because it's booze in my coffee? I don't know. It just, it was good. Okay, I'm just going to tell you. It was good. I, I won't do that in my normal life, but for camping, yeah, I'll probably bring in the Baileys. And I'll set that up for everybody to enjoy if they want to. <laughs> oh, should I even admit this in a video? That was fun. So, yeah. Grammy drank the Baileys. <laughs> okay, so we're not only calling each other about food but we're also looking at the weather now if you um i'm gonna make a playlist of silver lake trips because they're kind of a, a trip in their own it's a thing that we do every year and so we've been rained out like rained out to where we came home it's not that far it's like an hour and a half from here we came home like and stayed home a couple days and then went back up because it was just no fun it was just sitting in your trailer and you know it's all rainy and muddy outside and so we're all checking the weather. It has been raining here. Like it, we've had a couple of uh, mountain thunderstorms where everything got wet and it says no rain the whole time we're up there. So crossing my fingers that that's true. And um, when I look at my feed, I have an eclectic mix of, of sewing videos that pop up for me to watch and camping videos, like trailer videos. And this one uh, was tips and stuff, so I watched it and they said, always when you walk away from your trailer like to go hiking or kayaking or whatever roll up your um awning and i've never done that if i bring out the awning it stays the whole time or if it's like windy i won't bring it out at all so i think that i'm going to follow that advice because a mountain storm can come up really fast so i'm thinking i'm going to tell hubby we just need to get really good at rolling up that awning because we're terrible at it like we can't remember how to do it ever <laughs> but i will say this we also have the same issues with hitching up the trailer. We're so good at it right now because we've just gone so many times that it's fast and easy. And all the stuff is right where we know it is. Like, we, if, the more you do something, the easier it is. That's with everything, right? So we're really looking forward to the weather is going to be great. It's hot right now here, but up in the mountains right now it's cold, like cool. So, um, like today, it's like, let me just look. All right. You use that app on your phone that's never real? I do. Okay, so today it's high of 73. Right now it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it's 69. And here, whoops, here um, it's 97. 69 versus 97. So it's really hot here. Down in Sacramento it's 105 today. But up in the mountains, 69, high of 73. It says it'll, it, it doesn't even say it's going to hit 73. So it, it's not even going to hit that high. So it's going to rain today, maybe, 50-50. And then after that, it looks pretty uh, partly cloudy to sunny. And partly cloudy is great. So we've got that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is all cloudy. And then a chance of rain on Monday. And then partly cloudy Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, all sun. And Friday we'll be home. So that's the mountains. So temperatures. 73, 69, 66, 66, 60, 60, 62. And then the low, you'll want to know that. Do you? Do you want to know? 55, 53, 51, 49, 49, 48, 47. So kind of chilly. And we want to do kayaking. So will that happen? I don't know. I kind of want to go whether it's, if, unless it's cold, like cold, I would like to go. So we'll see. We'll see, I got a new kayak. It's just a cheapo, but I'm just hopeful that it won't be tippy because the first one I bought was also a cheapo, but it was super tippy, and I'm convinced it's for, teen, like, teenagers because it was kind of small. So this one's normal size. I don't know. I don't know. It's purple, so it should be amazing. That's what I think. So I want to try out the kayak. We're going to do that Friday. Uh, the kids are all coming up. My daughter and her husband are bringing the kids, and they're coming up, and I'll give them the ti two tiny kayaks so they can take that home with them and then try out my purple kayak. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Okay, so obviously I have one foot home and one foot in that trip. That's where I'm at. Got to pack those clothes, do a few more T-shirts into tanks. Do you think that was cool? I thought that was really cool. So uh, I don't think any t-shirts safe in my closet right now. I don't wear a lot of t-shirts. If I was going to wear them, it'd be for camping, where I don't, I don't wear a lot of that kind of clothes. But camping, there you go. So really looking forward to that. 
I just want to say thank you so much for coming and seeing my channel. I apologize that I haven't been commenting and I, and I missed that. I'm trying to hit just the heart button so you know I saw your comment, but I want to visit with you guys. I want to say stuff, but it's just been really like crazy. I haven't had a chance to sit down, but if, <laughs> that's a big if, if I get signal while we're camping, I'd love to visit with you guys. So that's possible. We did buy that booster and I, I don't think we had it. We had it last year. We definitely had it last year, so I don't know if it helped or not, but it helped us on the coast. So it's basically um, a little a little electronic thing that sits in the camper and it's supposed to boost the cell signal, which I have almost none of. So it's an iffy thing whether it would work or not. So we get a little bit in, you have to walk like to a certain spot and you're like, oh, I got a bar or two. And then you might be able to send a text. So. If I get signal, I will definitely come in and visit with you guys. But I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for the comments. Thank you. I love that so much. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for being here. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye now.